I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching the videos, taking interest in sharing their own questions. That makes our YouTube channel very special. Here is a brilliant question from one of our subscribers, and I hope its solution will help many others. It is based on transformation of functions. Given graph of f of x equals to 2 sine px, where p is greater than 0 and x is between 0 to 2 pi, find the greatest value of p such that the graph of the function does not intersect the line y equals to minus 1. Now, strictly speaking, this is like less than 2 pi. Let me make this x as greater than 0 and less than 2 pi. Okay. So let us try to understand the basic concept first. We are given the graph of f of x which is 2 sine px. Let's sketch one. We'll just sketch one wave. Sine wave which is kind of like this. Now, from 0 to 2 pi, you will notice that since it is f of x is equal to 2 times sine px, let me say sine x, let us say this is sine x graph. In that case, we have an amplitude of 2, right? So the minimum value is also minus 2, the maximum is plus 2. The question is, we need to do the transformation so that we get the function, let us say g of x, which is 2 sine px. Let's think like this. Perfect. And what we want here is that the, the, we need to find the greatest value of p such that the graph of this function does not intersect the line y equals to minus 1. So, so the question is to find p so that g of x is greater than minus 1. Correct? That's the whole idea. So conceptually, what we can see here is that at minus 1, the graph will have this intersection points, right? So in the first phase, we'll try to figure out what this point is. So that is to say, in the function, which is f of x equals to 2 times sine x, we'll try to figure out when is this function equal to minus 1. Substituting minus 1 here, we can calculate this value. We get 2 sine of x, which is minus half equals to sine of x. Now half, as you know, is easily calculated using a triangle. So we could use this particular special triangle where the sides are 1, 2 and square root of 3, this angle being pi by 6, correct? So the acute angle pi by 6 gives you half. Negative means that we are looking for quadrant 3 and 4, right? So these are quadrant 3 and 4. So let me say like this. That means these are the two positions, correct? In which this position will be, it is pi by 6 is the acute angle, right? So this is pi by 6. So the principal angle will be 7 pi by 6, correct? And that will be 11 pi by 6, correct? Now, this point here, as we have seen, is 7 pi by 6, 
minus 1 and this point is 11 pi by 6 minus 1 correct the y value is minus 1 correct now the question is we have to transform this function so that g of x which is 2 sine px now this p signifies what so p when it is less than 1 right let's say greater than 0 but less than 1 it means horizontal stretch correct horizontal stretch means I could pull this point out you understand so I can extend the time period right so we can extend the time period Correct. So what we can do here is that within this interval of 0 to 2 pi, let's say within this interval from, from 0 to 2 pi, we want g of x should be greater than minus 1. So we need to pull this point away. That is horizontal stretch, right? So basically the transformation will be now what? transformation will be from this point which we are saying so we have to pull this point out right which is 7 pi by 6 minus 1 right because after that it is lower than minus 1 we don't want that right we have to pull it out so that this value of minus 1 can approach 2 pi then it will not be in this interval from 0 to 2 pi, right? So it will be stretched out. So within this interval of 0 to 2 pi, will not have the value of minus 1. Perfect. That is the concept. So this transformation basically is what? Same y value. So the x value, that gives you p, right? So that means we have 7 pi by 6 times 1 over p right the factor is 1 over p that should give you 2 pi that is the value of p which we are looking for doesn't make sense to you right so that is the value of p let's calculate so now pi and pi cancels and cross multiply we get 7 over 12 as equal to P. that is the maximum value you can stretch it more right 7 over 13 14 15 whatever in that case this point will be stretched further away however when p is 7 over 12 exactly this point will lie at 2 pi so that is the highest value of p it's a fraction right so that is the greatest value of p right 7 over 12 so our answer here is p equals to 7 over 12 which you can approximately write using calculator also 7 divided by 12 gives you the answer as 0 0.583 to three significant places if you want to then p is 0 0.583 correct so that is how this question can be solved so i hope the steps are absolutely clear so the idea is when we're talking about this particular function i could have written this as g of x right as 2 sine p of x which is our transform function from the f of x which is 2 sine x so in 2 sine x the graph definitely goes below minus 1 after 7 pi by 6 within the interval 0 to 2 pi now g of x is a transformation of this sinusoidal function which is horizontally stretched by a factor and that factor is p so that factor which we found is 7 over 12 right so that is the greatest value of p which can enable us to have a value of greater than minus 1 within 0 to 2 pi 2 pi not included right so at 2 pi it is going to have minus 1 but not before that perfect so that is how we are going to solve it 
I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.